Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy Modded by me and we've got a lot of new stuff today. Yeah, I added meat, I made blood more realistic, I changed how the life system works and how things die. It's all very exciting and there is a download link in the description, I hope, um, unless something went horribly wrong. But yeah, let's go ahead and look at it. So, uh, I made a little bit of a test simulation here, uh, my test organism, and this is my first run of making, well, an organism. It has uh, lungs, which get the oxygen from this oxygen generator in the middle, which deletes the carbon dioxide at the edges. Carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen, so it accumulates at the edges, so we can get rid of it rather easily. And then we can see that we have the lungs, which take it in, pass on the oxygen to the blood, the blood passes on the oxygen to the meat. Brilliant. Very nice. Now you'll notice that on the top right there, the life value of the meat is at 100. I'm using life to uh, dictate the amount of, well, life things have. Once life hits zero, things die. And as you can see, we have a little bit of cell death over here because, uh, in the corners, we're not actually getting very good oxygen coverage. Not as good as it needs, so it's actually going to fall apart. But this is a very good uh, way for me to show you guys the cell death system. So if we go ahead and get rid of these deletion things all over the place. Because they'll delete the blood and stuff, and we don't want that. That wouldn't be fun. Just go ahead and clear this out and see what happens. All right, so we got blood leaking into the lungs. Brilliant, everything is falling apart. Very nice. Blood's uh, oxygen usage has been decreased to basically nothing to be more realistic. We had, we had people, I knew people were gonna be coming in with complaints about realism. I'm trying to balance gameplay and scientific accuracy. Neither are going to be perfect, but I'll try to get it as close as I can. But uh, not only that, but there's, there's a few other tweaks that have been made. Um, so blood also has a very high life. It won't die really for a long time if it doesn't have oxygen because it doesn't really need it. But I also didn't want blood to be immortal, so it still can. It just takes a while. So as you can see, the lungs have kind of crumbled to bits. The uh, meat is still taking the last remnants of oxygen out of the blood. Uh, but even then, there is not much left. Now what's interesting is because this is all simulated, um, we can do some cool things to try to keep this alive. We don't technically need lungs. Uh, we could just keep flushing in oxygenated blood. Now the one thing that we can do to give it a temporary uh, survival is just pump oxygen directly onto the blood. Because the blood will accept direct oxygen. The issue is that it can't get rid of carbon dioxide. So you can see it's turning kind of purple. That's because it's taking the carbon dioxide out of the meat, but it has nowhere to put it. So even though we've kind of given it a little bit more of a chance by pumping in oxygen and letting the blood transfer it, it's still not a permanent solution. Um, it's, it's fighting. The top here is falling apart though because it's so far away from the blood. So. Goodbye, top of the circle. Bye-bye. And the blood is pretty much completely saturated in carbon dioxide now, so it's an absolute mess. It's not like it can really transfer anyways, because there's a bunch of plaque of dead cells at the bottom preventing it. We can clean that out. It'll build up again. And we can try to give it one last shot to stay alive before it dies. If we put a transfusion of new blood in and just... Maybe just, uh, we'll use titanium. We'll just close, close this. And then, uh, just pump some oxygen in here. We can make a last ditch effort to keep it from completely dying. So as you can see, the oxygenated blood is trying its best. The, uh, meat over here is actually lightening a little bit because it's, it's coming back. It's coming back, the stuff on the bottom's having trouble uh, diffusing this far through. Come on! We can just continue throwing oxygen at it. 
As you can see, it's kind of coming back to life a little bit, but the amount of carbon dioxide, once again, is just a problem. Without lung, there's, there's no real way for us to save it. Granted, we could just cut the top of this off and just try to save what we can. You can go ahead and grab some lung and just plop it on top like this. Boop. And then, uh... Now, there is somewhere to put the CO2. And as you can see, where the lung is, the blood is no longer blue. Uh, because it is actually getting rid of that CO2. But I don't know if this... Ugh, oh, there's just... It's having trouble getting rid of that CO2. There's just, it's just such a mess. Such a mess. We may want to just let it die at this point. Put it out of its misery. I'm actually impressed. It, it, it did kind of come back, a lot of it. Um, pretty impressive. No, the fun thing is with the property tool, you can actually mess with these things and make it go a lot higher than it's supposed to. So if you wanted to make an uh, element that'll, like, try to save it. So let's go ahead and make some special blood. We can go ahead and get the temp value, which is oxygen, and we can just set it really high uh, for a little bit of the blood. And what'll happen is it'll diffuse that out. Um... And so now the oxygen levels are going absolutely insanely high for all of this. And then we can also go ahead and get the prop tool and do temp 2 and we can set it to something negative. Um, and this will cause the blood to... It'll send... Blood will send its uh, CO2 to other blood that has less CO2 in it, trying to even itself out. So right here, when we have a positive temp value and a negative temp 2 value, it's kind of, like, almost perfect. Oh, wait, I'm- that wasn't the right temp! I did temperature! I'm stupid, I'm sorry. Um, wow, okay, uh, so let me set the correct temp- I was wondering why it wasn't more red. There we go. Boom. Okay, so super oxygenated blood here. And, um... The super oxygenated blood that also has a negative temp 2 value is going to very quickly uh, bring the meat to not just alive, but like super, super healthy. Um, that's hilarious. I, I set it to like 5,000, 10,000 degrees. Very nice. Very good job. There we go. And look at that. I mean, sure, the lung is dying because it's not getting oxygen and I mean, it's fine delete the lungs. Who needs lungs? But look, we have a bowl of blood! And, oh, I deleted it. <laughs> I meant to get rid of the dead tissue. There we go. So this will stay alive for a long time, actually, because the the oxygen value is just really high, and the, uh, the carbon dioxide value is negative, so... Great. It'll stay alive. But I want to see if we can make some sort of loop. Uh, I think that would be fun to make a more exciting thing. I want to add skin and stuff still, um, but here we go. Let's make boom. So things will stay alive for a little bit before it'll die, so you have time to like design slash build something. So let's go ahead and let's make a loop. So we'll use gravity to our advantage here. We'll have a lung over here, which is just going to be a tube, where we'll just have, um... You see, the thing is, you really want it to be quite... Good. There we go. So this will be the lung. We'll have the lung attached to a machine to hold oxygen and do the oxygen thing because it's not able to make oxygen on its own. It's a lung, not a miracle worker. Uh, boom. Brilliant. This is our lung. Very nice. Then we just have normal meat. This has to be... I'm trying to think about fluid flow and like... The game's probably not gonna like this, but I'm gonna try my best. So we have... If we have the long, and then we'll just go like this. I feeling 
I have a feeling that a lot of this upper pipe is just going to absolutely die. Because it's going to be really hard for the top of this to be hit by blood, unless we just put like a really large amount of blood into it. Eh, whatever. Figure it out. Alright, and then bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, I put it under myself. I, I literally drew that in like the worst possible place. I'm sorry. Let's move that over here. I'm freehanding it on purpose to make it look more biological. Um, because, like, straight edges and things don't really look very biological. Because it's not. Still have no clue how we're gonna get this to go up. I feel like these gaps have to be a lot wider for me to take advantage of things like fans and pressure. But we'll, we'll see what I can do. We'll see. Alright, boom. Boom. So this is basically like an artery connected to a lung. The artery, if we can keep it alive, if the artery dies, the blood will leak out and everything will fall apart. So that's quite realistic in that case. Um, and then uh, we'll use plant for our machine here because it's it kind of does exactly what we need, which is turning CO2 back into oxygen. Let's go ahead and get some of those bad boys. Bam. Bam, bam. I, I'm very happy making this mod. It makes me, I always like artificial life in games. So being able to actually make something that has some artificial life in a game, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's not going to be perfect because I'm making it. So that's a given, but I hope it'll give you guys some joy. And maybe you could subscribe to make up for the time I spend making it. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll just flush these full of oxygen. Brilliant. And now we will go ahead and we will put some blood in here. Very nice. And then we will go ahead and get fans and pray that I can just force the blood up again. I need to make some sort of like vein or like a special type of pipe that can also carry oxygen. Oh, you know what? That kind of works. Kind of, a little bit. Okay, um, needs more pressure. Got it. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Yes! Oh, it works. It's going in a circle. Brilliant. Okay, it's getting kind of stuck here, but with another fan, we can just push it through. Okay. I think, I don't know if the quantity of blood is an issue. Uh, I think that we should probably force it to, like, touch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put, like, things that it has to roll down. Kind of like a pinball machine. Um because what that's going to do is it's going to increase the amount that the blood is touching the lung. If we increase the amount that the blood is touching the lung, the amount of oxygen we can transfer goes up. Got it. Also kind of acts as a one-way valve. We don't really need that, but it's kind of cool. See, look, the amount of oxygenation we're getting has went up a ton. The blood is very red, but we're getting like no oxygen out here at the very end, so hopefully it picks up a bit because we're about to have cell death. We're about to have very, very bad cell death. The top, like I said, is a huge issue. Let's go ahead and add more blood so that it fills the arteries a little bit more and get some more diffusion. Ah, life is dropping rapidly. We're at about 50. Is it going? Oh man, okay, yeah, so we're going to just quickly do a set, uh, temp, uh, me 50, and set temp to me negative 50, just to give it a little bit of time, um, 
And this will allow the blood to get a little bit oxygenated as well. Uh, we're, we're going, we're going to, obviously, we're, oh, I forgot about CO2. <laughs> that blood's turning kind of blue. Maybe this is not enough. Maybe this just simply is not enough. Well, we'll see. The, the loop, the loop is, uh, I mean, it's doing better, I think. The temp value of the blood that gets to here... I mean, over here it still has oxygen in it, and over here it has a ton. I think it's going in the right direction. I think we just need to give it a little bit more time to diffuse. Um, that's the thing. When you're building a biological system and it's living while you're building it, it makes it a little bit challenging. But this is kind of realistic. The further away from the lungs we go, the less oxygenated the blood is going to be. We just have to ensure that there's enough oxygen at the end for it to not die. And it looks like, based on this right here, the temp is going from 31 to... Oh, yeah, the blood that's getting up here actually has some uh, oxygen in it. Would you look at that? I think it's balanced. So let's go ahead and set the temp of the meat to something more reasonable, 5 and we will set the temp to, to negative five, and we will see if it's able to take care of itself. Very quickly, things have changed. Um, I'm gonna say maybe not. <laughs> maybe it can't. Uh, maybe it can. This over here, we're still temp one, two. Okay, now it's starting to die a little bit, but maybe with a little bit more time, I think part of the issue is just the rate at which the blood is moving through the system is kind of slow. Uh, it's limiting us. I mean, it could also be too much blood because that's slowing down the flow. It's really, it's actually quite challenging to figure these things out. I'm gonna put some fans at the beginning to just kind of urge it along a little bit harder. I really do think that our biggest issue right now is just getting it moving. Because look at the amount of highly oxygenated blood we just have sitting, sitting unused in the lungs. It's a tragedy. Absolute tragedy. We could also widen the blood vessels uh, to allow more flow. Like, that is an option. Which wouldn't even be that hard. All I have to do is go around. Floop. We're doing major surgery, boys. Major surgery. Here we go. We're just gonna widen these bad boys. Oh, yes. Ultra wide arteries. This is gonna reduce blood pressure and, uh, hopefully allow us to get a lot more oxygen through the system. Okay, look at that. That's looking a bit better to me. It's going to be a lot more challenging for it to get blood to the top over there, but what if I put a fan like that that just kind of pushes it against it? Please? <laughs> Please? Okay. There we go. Just just hitting it at least a little bit. Okay, this may not be better. <laughs> um, oh god, things are dying. Quickly. Give it give it a chance to survive. Oh, let's just set the life back. Uh, we'll set the set life meat to like a hundred again, just so that we get a little bit more time. Right now we got dead cells inside of the blood vessels. What could possibly- I mean, this doesn't have to be thick down here, does it? Because going sideways, it doesn't have an issue. It only has to be a really thick when it's going straight up. Now I'm thinking, like, we're, we're getting into engineering territory here now. Which is fine, engineering is cool. Just... 
getting a little bit crazy. Okay, so we are actually getting some oxygen up here. Some. Not enough. Some. And uh, it's gonna be the same thing here. I don't think once, by the time it gets this high, we really don't need it to be that thick again. Also, the thickness of the walls of the blood vessel is a little bit unnecessarily high as well. We can just shave down the edges a bit. As long as it doesn't leak blood, it's fine. And every extra cell is using more oxygen. So even if we can get like a 20% reduction on the amount of cells, that could actually make a massive difference to our survival. When you're talking about this sort of thing, everything counts. I mean, biology's pretty amazing and everything's balanced really well in your body by tons of evolution, but uh, in the case of this poor thing, all it's got is me. <laughs> I'm not as effective as the uh, amazingness of evolution. All right, here we go. Let's see if this works. Okay, we're getting, we're definitely getting a far better result at the bottom here, where we have really fantastic performance. Um, less fantastic performance at the top here, where we are, have literally zero oxygen. Looks like we are getting like some weird behavior over here. We're not really shooting as much blood through here as we want. So I'm gonna redo the fans that go up here and I'm just going to literally just put one really large fan that just goes up. Here we go, holy moly. Okay, that may have been a little bit too much. Too much sauce? Alright, let's just split this. Get a little bit less intense, huh? Alright, I may have went too far. <laughs> we may have went too far. Oh man, it's gonna die. It's going to die. The sad thing is, like, our lung design is really good. Uh-oh. This is it. It's beginning... it's beginning to die. Well, it was... it was a good shot. We, we tried our hardest, but I guess this is not too dissimilar from, like, the, uh system that a worm has. I mean, we're looking at a really basic... Oh, no, the blood's leaking out. No! My hopes and dreams! Oh, no. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah. You know, you just gotta do your best. Sometimes that's not good enough. <laughs> that lung design, though, um, not bad. Obviously, people will come up with better stuff. So, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time when hopefully I have more stuff related to this. And uh, maybe I'll even get the, the, the thing set up so that we can post saves with the mod. Yeah, that would be kind of neat. Kind of neat indeed. Hey! Thank you for watching! If you want to see more cool biology mod stuff in the future, make sure to share the video, like the video, subscribe, and just generally let me know in the comments down below what you want to see added. So, thank you. I'm gonna go dissect some worms, figure out how they work for science. Not actually. That, that would be kind of weird. Don't worry. I'm okay. Um, subscribe.